Hey everyone, good morning. Currently it is 6.44 and I have been on the phone with a Apple, Apple Care, Apple support person for the longest time. Hey everyone, so today is January 3rd, oh my god. And it's lunchtime so I'm gonna go home because I forgot to bring all the stuff I have to ship out and they're already, the truck is here and they're palletizing everything so I'm gonna try to shove my box in there before the truck leaves. Um, yeah, and then I usually go home during lunch. Uh, the reason is because I live really close and um, I want to take my birdies out for at least like 30 minutes so they don't have to stay in the cage for like 8 to 10 hours straight. And I kind of give them like a break. Um, they don't really do much. They just kind of hang around on my shoulder. Hey, so um, we're home. And let me just introduce you guys to what I like to eat. This is all from Trader Joe's. So this is organic tomatoes. Organic Tuscan kale, which is really good. Organic romaine salad. And this actually makes a great meal. So I'm just going to use this little bowl and I ate much. Top it with some romaine lettuce. So it kind of looks like this. Slice in a tomato. And then now I'm going to use this oat brand, which is also from Trader Joe's. And if I sprinkle a little bit of this on the salad, it actually makes me really full. So as you can see, you put a little bit of oat bran there, but I'm just going to use this um, olive oil. Oh my goodness, Chewy's really loud today. And that's it. This is actually really, really filling. Hey guys, so um, I kind of scratching my boobs. I kind of cleaned up the living room and my boo-boos, I call them boo-boos, my birdies went to bed so I didn't have dinner and I'm gonna go out and buy something to eat. I actually really want udon. I want noodles or maybe I'll buy ramyun. I don't know but I'm just gonna go to the Korean market. I'm sorry I'm like scratching myself. I'm so dry. Um, and the thing is like I was looking at the mirror and look at my hair. It's just like really greasy and towards the end of the day like the top part right here it gets really like flat and very matte like in a weird way it's like very greasy and I was thinking maybe it's my shampoo so if you guys have like any good shampoos for like like limp lifeless yeah greasy hair feel free to recommend I'm open to anything currently I use head and shampoo head and shampoo head and shoulder shampoo and um it's one of the only shampoos that really kind of keeps the oiliness under control somewhat. So I'm thinking of venturing out to new products. I just don't know what I'm going to do. Hey, so we are at the market. Oh, I like these. And I want some seaweed. My favorite. Hey, so, um, I don't know. I just feel like I don't have, like, thick skin when I'm vlogging in public. It's just so kind of embarrassing. I know no one really cares and no one's really going to notice me, but I was, like, vlogging and then, like, I had to take my phone down because I was so embarrassed. But anyways, um, starting this year, LA is actually banning plastic bags, so... I kind of forgot to bring my bag, which I'm pretty good about. I have a Trader Joe's reusable bag, and basically I didn't bring it, so I just had to hand carry all my stuff because I didn't want to pay 10 cents. How cheap of me. Spicy udon. Yay! Here we go. It does not look appetizing at all, but oh well. Here's... For dinner, cheers! Yay! 
I was just kind of cleaning around and I kind of found this. As you can see, I'm having a lot of skin problems. You can see like a lot of acne problems, like something's coming up here. Something's coming up here. And I wonder why. So I'm just gonna take a shower and try this out. So let me just show you guys how this works. Oh, sorry. I just came out of the shower. Um, I have nothing on my face. I'm gonna be like squinting a lot because I can't really see. This is how the number one uh, peeling emulsion looks like. As you can see, it's kind of like moisturizer consistency. It's not watery at all. I'm gonna use my camera as my mirror. Sorry I'm squinting. I just can't really see. Okay, all done. Um, I kind of felt like, wow, that's a lot of product for one person. I've been applying again and again and again because I didn't want to waste any of it. And I just feel like it's more like for two people because I kind of really have a large surface area. And um, the reason why I really hate it when I gain weight is my face gets really bigger because... You know, I pack on a lot of pounds on my face, so um, right now, like, my face is bigger than its normal bigness, and I just feel like, I just feel like that was a lot of product for one person's face. I don't know, it feels squeaky clean, but you can really see where I'm breaking out. Hmm. I don't know if it was smart to actually do this when kind of have like troubled skin I think I'm gonna go back to taking birth control pills because man my skin looks even worse on camera you could just literally see all the breaking out stuff um I'm just gonna wait like 15 minutes and then take the mask off and go to bed I'm kind of tired from all the stress at work today but anyways all right I'll see you guys tomorrow Peace out. Bye. Guys, good morning. Um, I think last night I was like, all right, good night. And then I think I was importing my videos. And then I fell asleep. But I think in the process, my phone died. So I have to import my videos again. And I'm just going to start um, editing and then put my vlog up for yesterday. Uh, like usual. Shh. There's going to be a one day. There's going to be a one day lag, but um, yeah, I can't really do anything about it because you have to kind of edit and put it up. And then yesterday, I just really just, I got knocked out and in the middle of the night, I woke up and I was like touching my skin and thinking, mmm, feels better. So we'll see how the three weeks goes. Hey guys, so it's um three o'clock and i completely forgot that oliver is coming back today and i have to pick him up at the airport so um he was not in my agenda so i'm gonna rush to work and do what i'm supposed to do like send people stuff and try to make this work i just wanted to chat with you guys about um something that i found really interesting about i don't want to categorize like white people but just people who grew up in America and have like you know just like a very typical American attitude towards stuff so I have um, so you know at work when you're doing projects with other people you you know it's kind of like a collaboration you join forces and you do things together um, I always found it really weird at how um, some people are just like never willing to get into a group mentality like they term things like us are we did this but then when they actually give you stuff it's kind of like they only did their portion <laughs> and then it's like okay well when you were doing your stuff i kind of helped you with whatever you're doing and i let you take all the credit for it but when it comes to your portion, like you just do your part 
and then you know it's just kind of weird it's kind of weird how some people are just never willing to fully put themselves out there to help other people they just do whatever is good for them and that benefits them and then it's just kind of like whoa I thought this was like a teamwork thing but at the end of the day it's not a teamwork thing but yeah whatever um, I'm not complaining or anything I just find that really interesting because I think like in the culture that I grew up it's kind of weird to say that since I've been all over the place but it's just my mentality is when you're in a group or when you're doing a project together it's just like you do everything and anything to make it right and it's not like oh I did this much and I'm gonna do only my part it's like yeah like if you need help I'll do it too but um, kind of came to a conclusion in life that not everyone thinks the same as me not everyone has the same standards or values so I just find that really interesting yeah I don't know it's just I don't want to I don't want to go into specifics but I thought that was very interesting hey so this is my desk but there's people here working today so I'll just keep it down oh crap I uploaded the video and left it at home so I could just come to work and it's still processing. I think there's like an error or something's going on. I might have to upload both yesterday and today today. Oh, I'm sorry guys. Anyways, okay, back to work. Hi everyone, so I am heading home. It's 4.51 right now. Um, or I might go to Target because I really want Cheez-Its guys wonder why I gained so much weight well here's your answer I snack a lot um Oliver's plan is gonna arrive he said he's gonna get here at 8 I was checking my YouTube account and apparently yesterday's vlog didn't upload so it's probably gonna be day 2 day 3 combined together don't worry you guys didn't miss out on anything so um sorry it just always happens like that I don't know why it's it's like whenever I leave the computer uploading and I leave the house I always fail my videos always fail for some reason this is a bathtub that I gave Dante because Dante has a really long tail Oof, look at how long that tail is and I usually like to throw them in the shower but I'm just gonna let him take a bath because it's kind of dirty Hmm? And Oliver doesn't know how to give them showers. So it's your last chance before mommy leaves. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you trying to bite me. Yo. <laughs> Chewy, get out of the way. Hey guys, so I just got a call back from Oliver and he says... He missed his flight, which is very typical of him because he always really cuts it really like close and he's missed a lot of flights before. So it's not really surprising. So now he's going to arrive at LA like probably at midnight. Well, he was supposed to help me with something and I know this is going to sound really tacky, but maybe I could get some input from you guys too. So um, we have a reservation at Nobu um, in Las Vegas. And it's going to be on Sunday. And I fly in to Las Vegas at 6.30. And the reservation is at 7. But um, my coworker said that she could actually push the reservation back a little bit. And the thing is, like, Nobu... Everyone knows about Nobu. If, you know, like, they're from, like, the New York City area. Or if they're really into, like, high-end restaurants. I've never actually been to Nobu. So I asked Oliver what dishes I should get. Because Oliver's, like really good with like Japanese restaurants like he's like he likes his sushi yeah. and me it's just I always get like you know rolls like Americanized rolls like 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 cheese and stuff on it so I asked him what should I get at Nobu 
that I could say I had a good meal but not be tacky and order the most expensive dish because obviously like you know the company's paying for it so, so if you guys have any recommendations um, it's gonna be the Nobu in Las Vegas at the Hard Rock Hotel so just let me know and then I'll try to follow your recommendations I kind of want something where it's like, oh, now I know why Nobu's so famous and, you know, everyone raves about it. I'm hoping that it's not just about fresh ingredients. I hope, like, there's something extra to it. So, um, let me just know what you guys think or if you guys have any recommendations there. Um, the menu is online, so, you know, you could kind of look at it if you want to. So, um, I think I'm gonna end my vlog here early today because... I really have a lot of work to do and I don't really, I can't really foresee myself vlogging while I work. So um, I'm just going to end it here and I'm extremely sorry the other vlog didn't go up so both of them are tied in together. It might be doubly dull but hey, that's my life. But anyways, alrighty, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.